for me and I'm starting the vlog a little bit later as you can tell from the title of, uh, of the thumbnail hopefully I got some exciting news yesterday that um, a paper that I submitted about several months ago I think I mentioned it was accepted so it's gonna be published and so I'm really excited and um, to celebrate my mom okay fun fact about me I'm not a girl who like really enjoy I, I love fresh flowers don't get me wrong but if you've been following me for a while you may have recalled what occurred when I purchased myself fresh flowers I had a massive allergy spell that was a nightmare so I don't do well with welcoming pollens into my apartment just it's usually a bad idea plus I feel badly about you know arranged flowers they just kind of go to waste and that's not that but one thing I have always wanted in my entire like adult life which as cheesy as I know it sounds cheesy so but those edible arrangements I have always wanted one I, I like sometimes I even contemplate buying myself one because there's one in the neighborhood and I mentioned this to my mom and she got me one so um, I showed it to you guys in the intro because um, when she came she came this morning and dropped it off and we opened it up and had it for, for breakfast and I'm just having a few of the pieces here there's a snack but um, I'm really excited because to continue the celebration, she's taking me out to dinner tonight to a restaurant that I've always wanted to go to called Hugo's. And it's um, like supposed to be like a Houston like must go and I haven't been. It's uh, Mexican food um, from the Oaxaca area and they have like a vegetarian menu and they can do stuff vegan. And I'm really excited. It's supposed to be really, really good. So I'm excited to take you guys along with me on that with my mom. I've just fired up my lemon sugar cookie candle here. Today for lunch, I had my turmeric carrot balls today for lunch. I'm just gonna snack and chat. I had my turmeric carrot balls today for lunch. Oh my gosh, you guys. I believe that this recipe supersedes my other veggie burger recipes in terms of quality. I mean, I don't know if I was just ravenous, but every time I eat them, I like can't stop eating them. They're really good. They're like a savory cookie. They, t they almost are like, they're not sweet, obviously, but there's something about them. You feel like you're eating some kind of cookie type thing. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the oatmeal in it. Um, they're really good. I'm so excited about this. I mean, like, it's just fruit on a stick, but I just get the biggest kick out of these things, and I'm, <laughs> um, there's a few dark chocolate covered strawberries in there too, so I'm, I'm happy to have that in my fridge, but. Skincare update. I'm totally loving that um, Shiseido Sanka aging care whatever sunscreen with a long name uh, it's really nice I'm wearing it right now um, and um, I want to show you guys something fun so you know how I'm all about repurposing the candle jars I mentioned that the other day and there's that that one that I have that um, I, I had de-waxed from the candlelight company and it still smells like the candle which 
I'm not mad about, but I can't put food in there, right? That's like, I think we can all agree that that would not be a smart idea, okay? Ah, speak of the devil. There she is, judging away. Um, I have it listed down below. I have this candle listed down below for you guys, but I can only find the wax melts on Amazon. So if you're looking for it, I put the wax melts in there because that's all they have. But um, but uh, as soon as the candle becomes available on Amazon, I can list that one if you're interested. Okay, but look how pretty. Okay, so here's the jar, and look how pretty my um, Japanese and sunscreens and Korean. Um, moisturizer by Soon Young look in there. They fit nicely. I mean, the lid doesn't obviously sit, like seal, but it goes on easy enough. These are like my frequently used products um, that fit in here, and I just like that I can display them, and that way I remember which ones I have. They're upright. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty jazzed about that. And then in the center there, I just have my mascara upright. Um, so I don't know if that's the proper way to store mascara, but anyways. And then I've had these in here for a long time, but I'll just show you because I think it's smart the way I did it. These are the Burt's Bees uh, can candles, uh, the jars from Burt's Bees. I really like the way that the lids on these look. Um, but they have this coloration, um, and they're kind of, I don't know, nice looking, but I have my little commonly used twisty ties here, and then my little hair clips, and another jar repurposing, not a candle jar, but a salsa jar, um, I'll tell you the story on this, okay, so, check this out, under here in the bathroom, <laughs> pull you guys out. This is um, a salsa jar. Uh, the salsa was okay. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but I put it through my dishwasher after I was done with the salsa to repurpose because I kind of like the jar. And it still smelled like salsa. Um, you know, it still smelled like chili peppers. And so I was wanting to get that fragrance out. So I put a little bit of like water and a few drops of my essential oil, uh, my lemon myrtle essential oil. And now it smells like lemon. So it smells great. Doesn't smell like uh, salsa anymore, but can't put food in it. So what I have uh, chosen to do, and I think I'm, I'm liking this setup, I just have some plain baking soda in here. I use this uh, as a bathroom cleaner, you know, ba baking soda, and here I just have uh, white vinegar in a mason jar. So that is how I'm repurposing this, is to just store some baking soda here in the bathroom. And then um, this is the Anjou tea tree oil that they um, sent me. I'm really liking this as a cleaning product, so I kind of will... Uh, sprinkle some of the baking powder into my toilet bowl, um, some of the uh, white vinegar, and a few drops of this, and I find that it keeps the toilet bowl looking nice and white and clean, so I'm enjoying that little little r routine maintenance kind of thing a doodle And there is my uh, toilet paper basket. So, so yeah, that's a little... Uh, lifestyle skincare update totally loving that sunscreen by the way um and yeah my mom is on her way to come and pick me up so we'll take you guys along to the restaurant
tortillas. They're very good. Yeah, they have homemade uh, blue corn tortillas. What do you think of the uh, Brie Loves Beauty drink? Yeah, it's good, right? It's just muddled berries and uh, soda water. It's good. All right, our food came. And what did you get? It's got um, just a bunch of veggies and um, this veggie taco, the potatoes, so it looks good. Looks like you're saying you didn't put cheese in it. Oh yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Cauliflower cactus salad. Oh, I love cactus salad actually. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. It's just like squashes and quinoa. Yeah, wonderful. All right, great. Thanks. got out of the shower here. Um, I'm on the couch just about to respond to you guys' comments on my last video. Oh my gosh. Um, so nice. So, so, so nice. Dinner was excellent. I hope you all enjoyed looking and smell of -ing. That's a word, right? Um, I, uh, I'm tempted to crack into the remainder of that fruit bouquet. That stuff is so, so good. Um, while I get to crack a lacking and respond dundoing. Um, so I'm going to conclude the vlog here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.